two by one card. All right? And if there is two, there is, will, be, will be a confliction and destruction, right? Okay. In many things. Okay? Make sense? It makes sense, but they can like get in a cold champ. Like they don't need like to fight. They can just, just this good. So the mutual, it cannot be mutual for every time, right? So it is, what's the age of this universe? If you say these or that, so the song the, from day two, one to today is still exists in this way, right? What is the temperature, upper side, the temperature of the sun? Do you know that? The temperature of the sun. Okay. So in the upper side of the sun, there is a 57 thousands degrees Celsius temperature so what we get only 15 degree or 16 degree or 20 degrees maximum 50 degree in Arab right so what happened the Sun has the 56 thousand degrees Celsius temperature 57 thousand degrees Celsius temperature but we are getting our 10 or 20 degree what happened because there is someone who is controlling everything right if for example in your like because of the distance of us to the sun? Because of what? The distance between us and the sun? Like the distance between us and the distance. sun. Distance? That's why it comes to yeah. the... Well, when it, when, when it comes to the light, yeah? We don't get like a lot of temperature okay. because the distance of Earth to the because sun. Because the sun is far away. She's yeah. So the far away, every time, the far, only for the distance, it cannot, for example, the light, power of the light, 3.0 into 20 to the power edge meter per second. It cannot be changed. So you cannot say the, the, the distance for the distance making. For example, in your stomach, come to your stomach. In your stomach, there is hydrochloric acid, right? And the, this pH, the value of this pH is just one, and which is very, very acidic. If you take your uh, ring or your phone or any stainless steel on this acid, it will melt. So why your stomach is not melting? What's the reason? According to the logic, right? According to the logical mind, if a stainless steel becomes melt by one pH value of hydrochloric acid, why our stomach? It's not the stainless steel, right? So why it is not melting? That's the thing. What I think, that's the thing. What I think is that there is a creator who created, there is a layer, right? The creator created a layer which dissolved it, right? This, uh, this pH. So then we can we can take the food, our digest system, that our complex, the most complex is our digest system. And if you have a look on the neuron and the nephron, there is a 12 lux nephron on every human body's kidney, right? So each nephron has contains many parts. So each part contains individual character, right? And in your nephron, there is a different kind of nephron. My question is, without anything, if you if I say this phone comes from nothing, or this phone comes from uh, like by itself, you will not believe in it, right? So, how you believe this that without anything, it is just controlling? There should be one, right? If there should, if there is two or three, there is a contradiction, right? So that's what we believe. There is one God, right? And does for, he believe in God? He yeah, he, he he's believing in something which is superpower. So are you are you, he, you, he, you agree? Spiritualist? Are you a spiritualist? No, it can be like a spirit. I believe in the universe. I believe the universe is God. Wow, if you want to call God, can be God. No, no. I'm just trying I to understand. I don't, I don't put like a name in what I mean. No, but in order for us to understand the type of God you believe, because there are certain but people who believe everything example, in the universe. I don't believe in a God. Like you are you believing. You call them a God. I call it universe. So, okay, so it's, it's like pantheism. Yeah. Yeah. So it does have a name. You see? Yeah, yeah. So this is the reason I asked you. I is think because every single person needs to put a sign in every thing. If I believe in the universe, it's a pantheon. If I believe in God, Christian, or so why why do you believe in pantheism? What is the reason? What is what is it that's a strong point in pantheism that makes you believe that the universe is God? The thing is, I don't believe that the universe is God because I don't believe that it exists a God. So what do you think the universe is? Do you think it existed by itself? Could be. I could be like a scientist who so, no, but you know, 
scientists say that the universe is nearly 14 billion years old. Yes. That means it started somewhere. Okay. It has an age, which means it has a beginning. Okay. So anything that begins to exist Need must to have start. a cause. Okay. Okay. So, so you're calling the cause God? Well, if you want to call it God, that's fine. If you don't want to call it God, you can put it into a natural being. But the question is not about the name. The question right now is whether the universe is contingent on the cause or is it self-sufficient and self-existing. Self okay, when you say self-existing, that means it must have always existed. So, okay. so for one second, oh, yeah. I don't mean to hijack your discussion. No, I just want to get to the point yeah. rather than talking a lot about science because we can be here all the other ones. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to understand your perspective of your belief and what makes it true. You can say that I'm wrong. It's fine for me. Yeah, I'm, right, now, right now, I'm not saying you're right or wrong. Right now, I'm trying to understand your concept of your belief. I can say that I don't have like a, a belief like long as you all. You I'm do believe that the universe mm. began to exist at some point. So do you believe the universe is contingent on some external some external power to the universe? Like you know like for example if I asked you can someone who has who, who begins to exist bring himself or herself into existence? You'll say no, because they never existed in the first place and they cannot exist by themselves. So there must be an external agent to bring that into existence. Do you understand? Okay. Now what was that external agent that brought the universe into existence? Because we have already confirmed that the universe began to exist at some point. You ask like in my opinion. Yeah. I want to know what where do you think it came from? From somewhere in the universe. But the universe wasn't there, remember? <laughs> No. You're talking about the beginning of the universe. Yeah, so you're calling like God, you're calling like the universe, it's like the same thing. Okay. We can ask that question, it's a good question, which many people ask. So, we believe that God did not begin to exist. Okay. We believe God is self-sufficient, eternal, immortal, all-knowing, all-powerful. So these are the attributes of God, what defines him as God. Okay? Unlike the universe, the universe you don't think the universe has its own mind, do you? Okay. Do you or do you not? The own mind? No, do you think it has a mind to think, to rationalize? No, it's more like a... Okay, let me ask you. The rock is part of the universe. Okay. Do you think the rock can think? No. Okay, now, let's go to the moon. Can the moon think? No. Let's go bigger, the sun. Can it? Does it have consciousness? I'm calling universe in what I believe. I'm not saying that it's a rational power. I'm just saying that everything that I, I just like put in the sky and what is what it is. You know? But I'm, I'm basing this cause and effect. Because I don't accept that it would be like a cause and effect in a rational way. Cause and effect is from logic, rationality, and science. Yeah, but science uses cause and effect. Yes, it is. So I'm using the same technique, the same methodology, which logicians and scientists use that if something begins to exist then it must have a cause it is not some, you know that going in a, a bit in a philosophy they say that there's there's a there's an existence which is necessary and there is existence which is contingent contingent meaning it depends on external I know what you okay. yeah. for the sake of audience yeah. who might not be as clever yeah. as you you know yeah. and I'm I'm not saying that dummy. Yeah. <laughs> philosophy is not for everyone, you know. So just these words, some people might hear first time. Okay, when I heard it first time, I had to ask someone, what does it mean? So contingent just means dependent. So we know that the necessary being is never dependent, whereas the contingent being is always dependent. So if the if the universe is not necessary, that means it doesn't have to be as it is. It is, it is contingent or something. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's serious corner. Okay. So what I'm saying is that that's the reason I said because the universe cannot create itself, it cannot think for itself, it cannot um, exist by itself. So the question is, it must have. 
fraud, it, it must have come into existence by someone and from someone. Now the question is, who or what is this someone or, some, or some, somebody? It might be. In my opinion. Yeah, in your opinion. Wow. Yeah, yeah, because... What's your opinion on this? As long as you believe that the universe is contingent and is not a necessary thing, then the, it logically follows that you should believe that something caused the universe. It's a logical deduction. Yeah? Okay, I don't have an answer. Okay, let me give you two options. Which, are, which is what we can break it down in the simplest way. So either the universe came from something or nothing. Which is more probable or logical? Nothing. Nothing? Really? Nothing? In my, well, okay. Let me, let me ask you. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> if she says nothing, yeah. that's fine. Let me ask you. Does nothing exist? Nothing exists. Does it exist though? No. In a scientific way. But Sorry, was that a no? No, what do you want to prove? I, I don't understand. Okay. Like you, do you exist? I still are. Okay, you're something. You're not nothing, right? Now the question is, does nothing exist? Okay. No. No. If something that doesn't even exist, how can it bring about something that does exist like the universe? So you're saying that something exists but... You're getting that. So the only al the only alternative is something. It cannot be nothing. So nothing doesn't even exist. So whether I think she's she's thinking like the universe... Do you think that it's come from nothing or it's make existing itself? No, that's, that's what I'm asking. So we have already come there because it's contingent. Yeah. Then we know it doesn't exist by itself because it's contingent. Okay, so in your point, you have only one God that creates everything, and this is right. Don't jump the gun yet. Don't jump the gun yet. No, so we haven't got to God yet. Yeah. We are only trying to logically understand whether there is something out there other than the universe, which brought the universe into existence. Okay. You see what I mean? Okay. Now we have ruled out nothing. We have ruled out that the universe created itself or the universe caused itself. Now the only alternative that we have left is a something. Okay? Now we have to understand this something. Does this something exist by itself? Or was it itself caused by something else? You know the the, the, the chain the chain continues. Because if that something is contingent on someone else, then we can rule out that this something is independent and self-sufficient. So ultimately this cannot go on, you know, it has to stop from there is something called what is what is it you call in science where it doesn't go on? Yeah, infinity. Infinity. Yeah, infinity. So are you with Pablo? Pablo. <laughs> Alright, tell Pablo if he can come in if he wants to. He's asking for help. Pablo, is, is that how you invite yourself in? So do you need help? <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. So I think I think Paolo did want his oh, sorry his friend to speak to us. But anyway, I think the, the point yeah. was made yeah. that in order for something to exist, it must it must be either self-existing, self-sufficient, and it must have the, the quality of a city. It's not dependent on anyone for its yes. existence. If it does, then that thing is contingent, yes. and that's the reason we call that contingent thing dependent on a higher being. Yeah. And this higher being can only be God, because for that contingent, uh, sorry, non-contingent thing, it must have certain qualities, like self-existing, it must have consciousness, it must have a will, it must have intellect, power, yeah. knowledge, uh, ability to create, for example. Just I ask you to you, especially, yeah. why he is calling her? What's the reason? Why Paul is calling her? I don't know. <laughs> that was power. Yeah. So anyway, they, they might have that reason. Yeah. But I think so, I think the lady yeah. did understand. He he did he she did understand. So any, yeah. Anyone who says that the universe is eternal, because people yeah. say that, you know, yeah. try.
tried to circumvent this. So, in order to get away with the infinite regress problem, because you cannot keep on saying, okay, this created this, this, this created yeah, infinity, yeah. because it has to end somewhere. And Otherwise, none of this chain would ever yeah. exist. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when I go to a library, yeah. and if there are infinite number of people in front of me, I will never get the book. Yeah. Because infinite means never ending. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it has to end somewhere. And, yeah. in it has to be limit. Yeah. Now, why eternal universe doesn't work? Because, as I said, the scientists, and this is majority of the scientists, believe that the universe began 14 billion or so years ago. Yeah. So they they do believe that it has a beginning, and also they believe that the universe is going to end one day. You know the, the uh, expansion. Yeah. yeah the, it the big bang and the, the, big bang. the expansion will be end at a time. Yeah. Yeah. And then it it has has to be stopped. So there's a just like a balloon. It cannot yeah. go on expanding yeah. forever. It, 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 it will as soon as it reaches a certain point. Yeah. It will be split. Yeah. Yeah. And they believe. So this is from the scientific perspective, and we also as Muslims believe that Allah is the one who is the creator of the universe, the heavens and the earth, and Allah is also going to be the one who is going to end all this one day. Yes. That's so what I believe as well. This is so something that we believe as well. This is going with scientific, rational, logical, yeah. in every way. It is going, our belief uh, is going with everything. When we, when we talk about the scientific thing, when we talk about the rational, when we talk about the logic. So that's what we try to convey the message to this lady, and we think uh, she catch it. I hope you know. right? so. Sure. Oh, so what I was going to say is that, inshallah, I mean, look, eternal universe doesn't exist. Yeah. The reason for that is because the scientists themselves do not agree that the universe is something which is eternal. Okay, due to the law of thermodynamics, specifically the second law, okay, which takes entropy into existence, that everything that is in order comes to it ends with the chemical system. So there has to be an end to this. At uh, some point, the entropy kicks in and it cannot have a cycle that goes on. So, inshallah, as Muslims, we believe that Allah created the universe, created us, created everything. Okay? So, Jazakallah khairan. Jazakallah khairan for joining with us. Subscribe to Dawa <laughs> And uh, try uh, to, to subscribe Dawa To comment and like, inshallah. Yeah. Mr. Hajim is from Dawa. Ramadan Karim. Ramadan Karim.